Air induction nozzles are tremendous technology. They've taken us down in drift potential to a point that we didn't think was possible. Uh, air induction nozzles can reduce drift by up to 95%. So that's the good news. The bad news is that people use them and tend to use them as a shield, thinking if I've got air induction nozzles, I'm bulletproof, I can spray whenever I want, and it uh, gets them into problems. Uh, we still have a very small fraction of the spray that's being delivered by the nozzles that's in the drift prone droplet size. And uh, they're still prone to be carried off by wind or air currents. Uh, so that there are still going to be conditions, even with this newest technology, where you can't spray. We found out uh, about the second year we, we had uh, a large acceptance of air induction nozzles in Ontario that it's critical that you use certain brands of nozzles at the correct operating pressure. Uh, typically farmers would buy an air induction nozzles because they liked the brand and then they would run it at what they used to run the nozzles at before and uh, most of the time that would be 40 psi and we found that there's a number of brands of air induction nozzles that don't do a good job of atomization and getting uniformity and getting coverage and all those good things at those what we consider traditional spray pressures. So they may have to be run at higher pressures. Some farmers won't change pressure because they, they, they don't want to. They think that increase in pressure increases drift, but air induction nozzles, even operated at higher pressures, have less drift potential than conventional nozzles at traditional uh, in the 40 PSI range.